Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to set up basic monitoring in Splinks. I'm going to add a new server, so it will be this server on which installation is made. And the producer, I can choose if it's uh, some networking producer, networking equipment, on this case is just the server itself. So it's a cloud and IP address is my Lubeck IP address. Then I can define this in MP version and change the type of device, uh, set up the partners and also if I want to send notifications via email and SMS or I don't want to, to do this. I add the device and device then is located in the section view. So the next step when it's already connected I'm going to get SNMP values and set up this SNMP values. So in our system we have SNMP walk implemented. When we run SNMP walk we get a lot of different SNMP values which are parsed by splings and they are put in a, that kind of table. So the basic values are interfaces and I'm going to set up loopback interface. I want to save RRD files to create charts later and this is check SNMP check every one minute or every 10 minutes, it depends on your network. I'm going to set up every one minute. And error the counter, error the data sources counter. The next interface which I want to add to monitoring is Ethernet 0 and again counter and uh, every one minute. I'm adding it and then I want to set up, I have to set up the second direction which is outgoing traffic. Now it's done and I can set up and I can add to monitoring also other SNMP IDs. So here you can find that even IP address can be monitored. Okay, refresh and in logs I will see all my SNMP and ping logs. Let's refresh it again and open. Okay, I see that first pings were sent and SNMP status is okay. We perform monitoring based on SNMP and also based on ping. I can choose charts and I can draw charts for that interfaces that we have added. The title is a server, for example, server traffic. Uh, vertical title should be speed, but I'm going just to write some test, like demo ESP framework. And uh, then I'm going to set up which data source I should use. I'm going to use this monitoring device and Ethernet 0 in is for incoming traffic, Ethernet 0 out is for outgoing traffic. Uh, the covers which will show us uh, incoming and outgoing and factor 1 means that I'm monitoring and getting info the information in bytes but I want to get them in bits. So the incoming traffic will be green area and the outgoing traffic will be line but let me change the color let make it blue so blue line is the outgoing traffic on Ethernet at the moment I don't have any values because I need at least two three minutes to get them okay let me just wait for, for a while go to Harley graph and on Harley graph we have already some values so as I, as I told the green area is incoming and the blue line uh, is uh, the outgoing traffic. Let's close it, then we can find the locks. On locks there it will show us when device was not reachable. Each uh, monitoring SNMP OIT we can uh, get, check and we can check and get values from it. Okay, on charts, let's check the chart again. Harley graph, yeah, there is nothing changing. I will show you rather example of existing chart. So this is existing chart and so uh, let's go to charts. Okay, I'm opening this charts and I can choose if I want to get statistics hourly or daily or weekly. So let's check weekly and also I can define colors and area and line types as I told. Okay, let's go back here just check that something changed yes here we can again defi define what type we want to see it's a weekly chart so just small examples of these graphs yeah, something changed even here so it was increasing traffic outgoing direction so thank you for your time this is all from 
basic monitoring 